All right, welcome back, Internet Land. Long time no see. How are you doing? Uh, thanks for joining me again. I'm starting a new Let's Play series today. I've got a new character still in the same game of Skyrim. A uh, new character's name is Tath. I'll introduce him uh, a little bit more in a minute. But I just wanted to explain uh, what happened uh, for those of you that were following my first Let's Play. I kind of gave up on the Melkor Silverblood uh, story, the exploits of the Vigilant of Stendar, uh, when my videos started to get kind of bogged down with a bunch of technical problems I was having with my recordings. Um, and it got to the point where it was just so uh, so daunting to try to get in there and figure out <laughs> what was causing the problems that it seemed easier to just start from scratch, um, make a new character, a new story, and it also helped that we've kind of been um, redoing some stuff in our house and so I have a new place uh, where I'm playing the game and a new gaming setup, a new TV and stuff, new sound system. So I'm still streaming this off my Xbox One uh, through Twitch. I think I've managed to up the resolution though so let me know if the graphics are looking a little better. I managed to um, switch from 720p to 1080p I believe and I think I have a faster internet connection now so uh, with luck this will look a little sharper than my previous videos were. And I'm in a new room in the house so I just wanted to make sure that the audio still is gonna work well here um, with the new sound system. I don't know if there'll be any feedback or echoing or anything. Um, so this is kind of a test trial run here. So let me explain the character and then I'll get started playing. Um, so Tath again is a champion of Mehrunes Dagon. He uh, he was the the thrall of a warlock. The some sort of a uh, warlock, you know, enraptured him and um, he became charmed and was kind of mentally enslaved to this warlock. But then an incident happened one day where a magical lightning spell kind of went awry ended up killing the warlock. Um, Tath kind of snapped out of it and was uh, was mentally freed. But uh, the, the electrical discharge somehow attracted the attention of Mehrunes Dagon, the kind of uh, the god of storms and destruction. And uh, he took an interest then in Tath and decided to charge Tath with becoming his champion and uh, gifted him a Daedric artifact, which is the Storm Blade. So there's this kind of magical uh, lightning sword I'm going to start out with, with Tath. And so that's the kind of backstory to explain that. That'll be his primary um, weapon. And it also will kind of tie into his story and give him some, some motivation for what he's doing. So Mehrunes Dagon then transports Tath to a new kind of realm in order to spread Mehrunes influence there. So this game is going to be set in the land of Falskar, um, which is kind of an island off the coast of the main region of Skyrim that was added to the game by uh, a modder. This is a game modification somebody created, just kind of a fan creation, a whole new area of the game that's going to be the primary setting for the story of this this new character. So I'm going to say Mehrunes, uh teleported him there um, and that's where my story is going to begin. I'm just going to come out of this strange kind of stormy uh, teleportation um, uh, magic situation that I've been put through and I'm going to wake up. I'm going to be inside some Dwemer ruins uh, in kind of a cage on this island and uh, fortunately for me there's going to be a, uh, a sentry guard from the nearby town who has come in here um, on the trail of some bandits and uh, and heard my cries and came to hear what was going on and, and is going to release me as I start the story here. So I'll fill in some more details as I go but I'm going to go ahead and start playing now. Um, so going through this stormy uh, teleportation system I awaken in the ruins of Falskar. And let me go ahead and turn up the sound for you all. And action. Pacaius, are you in here? What in oblivion? Y you there. Did you just come through that portal? Yep. Uh, can you let me out of here? If you just came through that, then then that would make you the Traveler, wouldn't it? Uh... Traveler? What's the Traveler? 
They who arrive through the Shimmering Gate mark the start of the worst. It's a, just a story, of course. Hmm. I'm going to assume you're from Skyrim, and you somehow managed to get the portal working. My job would dictate that I arrest you right here and now. However, I'm in the middle of something important right now. If you give me a hand with it, afterwards you're free to go. I'm searching for a Nord named Machias. He's the blacksmithing apprentice in the nearby town of Ember Creek. Nord. I assume that since he isn't in here, he's in the nearby cave. Unfortunately, I can also assume that that cave is full of bandits. Uh. I'll still have to report your arrival to my superiors, but if you assist me, I'll say you were cooperative and helpful. Oh, also, the switch to lower these bars is out here, and it looks like your portal thing has shut off, meaning I'm the only one who can let you out. Curses. Uh, well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Fine. Hey, you're the one that went jumping through random ancient portals. It's your own fault. I'll get the lever. I guess it's worth it to help him out hunting down a couple bandits in order to get out of here. Well, let's get ah. moving. I don't want to waste any more time. Very well, thank you for freeing me. I suppose I can do you one favor in exchange. Let's start moving here. I think bandits should be no problem. So interesting, he thinks I'm Traveler, his people must have some kind of prophecy. It says the Traveler is the harbinger of the worst. Seems like they're. Well, if I'm gonna bring on dark times, perhaps that's why Mehrun's Dagon sent me here in the first place. I'll be like the storm crashing on their shores bringing chaos and change and destruction to the realm of Falskar and expanding Merun Stegon's influence here. So be it. I'll be your traveler. All right, now where am I? I'm in a new land. Whew, look at the sky, all the stars up there. It's dark out. Looks like I'm in some kind of a courtyard. It's about 11 o'clock at night, and we're going into a dark cave to hunt bandits. Me and my new companion over here. Alright, let's see what we can do about hunting us some bandits and finding the Nord guy that they've apparently taken hostage. Alright, into the bandit cave. What? Somebody just left a bag of money right by the waterfall in the cave entrance? What kind of bandits would do that? And it wasn't even trapped. Are these just like terrible bandits who don't know what they're doing? Or what? Should be easy who is that? Coming here? Oh, here they are. Going to pay now. Now. Oh, we got me that time. Time. But there won't be Close. a next one. Out of the way, old we're gonna do this or just stand around all day? Bring it on! Just die already! Too soon! Take that! Boom! Alright. Those bolts back? in close quarters here. These crossbow might not be my best option. It's nice to have some ranged options. Although my primary weapon, of course, is the storm blade that was gifted by my leech. Huh? Oh, hello, there you are. Ow! Oh, lizard oh, oh, Stop! Oh, Ow! Oh, 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 Stop! Oh, Stop. Gonna leave a mark.
arc. I do have some, some scars and things from previous battles. This, this robe. I'd rather be wearing some kind of armor, but uh, this is all I can get on. Hello? You're locked. You used to be my master. Bunch of bandits in this chamber. I knew it! Crossbow back in. Let's see what I can do. I'm not letting you leave Why? <laughs> gotcha. One down, old beer. Can't worry not. Who's that? <laughs> One in the water. Where'd she go? Ow! You won't last long against me. Two in the water. You'll have to try harder. Gotcha. You're not good. You're not really. I'm guard. Bandit. You got. Where'd they go? Where's the other? Water. This looks like a recipe. Electrocution of everybody. Hide from me. Oh! Shows them to obey the Very law. Very well done. Is that it? I don't see any more. Looks like we had a little bandit encampment here. Stuff. Amulet of All right. You think that was it, Olvir? We still have to track down your missing um, friend. Huh? Sword. Micaias. Oh, did you find him? Oh, good. Is that him? Can we get out of here now. Thank the divines. Get me out of here. The switch to open the cage is on the wall over there. Oh, I have I got important it. news for Agnar. What is it? Are you all right? The bandits yeah, they're waiting for Ingvar. I overheard them talking. They're Ingvar. searching for something. Some That's why they money? kidnapped me. What are they searching for? What could you possibly know? They wanted to know about some key, and when they found I didn't know anything, they were enraged. They were deciding what to do with me when you two showed up. Thank the Divines for that. Agnar must know about this. <laughs> I'll have our Agnar friend here tell him. Princess. You go home and get some rest. Thank you for saving me. I'll see you in Amber Creek. Go to Amber Creek to the southeast. I go but have a patrol to keep, and Machias is rattled and needs to rest. Once what? you're there, find the Jarl Agnar in the main house. Tell him the bandits are working for Ingvar. It's imperative that he knows. He may also have a reward for you for delivering such important information. If oh. you follow me, I'll unlock the gate for you. The reward sounds good. Alright, look, I'm gonna do this last thing for you, but then we're even and square, okay? I'm not gonna keep doing jobs for you all the ages because you got me out of a cage. All right, we'll go and meet your Jarl. Give this a happen? message for you. And then I have important duties to attend to in spreading the influence of my Lord Mayrun's Dagon and crashing like an angry storm on your shores of Falskar. <laughs> Let's get out of this miserable cave, back out under the open skies, where we can watch the storm clouds gathering as I, the Traveler, come to Falskar, foreboding the worst. Alright. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous red moon. Alright, Olvir, where are you taking me? I'm still in this courtyard, so you're gonna let me out? That's the idea. And I have to go and find the city you told me about. Welcome to Falska! 
Thanks. I think. Hmm. This is a new land. I don't know anything about what's out there. I don't know if it's dangerous. I gotta assume it is. It's late. It's pretty dark for traveling. I think maybe I'm gonna just spend the rest of the night here in the, in the ruins, in the courtyard here, and head out at first light. Should be safer that way. I'm just gonna kind of camp out here. I'm just gonna relax here at the entrance to the ruins. And um, it's 1:30 in the morning. That whole bandit raid took us two and a half hours, about. So uh, if I just wait until dawn, uh, I think I'll feel more comfortable traveling through a new land. All right, and good morning. Here we go. Sunny out now. Can go explore the new wilderness of the new land of Falskar and head on towards town. Let's check out our map real quick and see where we are. Um, Alright, so it looks like we gotta go southeast to get to the town of Amber Creek, and that's where we have to deliver the message to the Jarl for the guy who sprung us from the ruins in the cage there. So, alright, southeast. So we're heading this way. We're traveling over land. I'm going to get my crossbow ready just in case there's any bandits on the road or predators lurking about. And uh, we'll see what happens when we get to town. I'll give you a little more character background while we're traveling here. Uh, I'm, I used kind of a, just a, a narration um, tool story tool that I got from the Character Crusade podcast um, where they have a lot of good information. The guys that run that, it's uh, Stu, Joe, and Matt, uh, have a lot of good discussions about just tools and strategies you can use to have richer characters and more compelling storylines uh, as you're kind of role-playing this kind of stuff in your head with games like this. And so they had a tool I decided to use that basically uh, where you come up with six attributes for your character's personality to help you get a sense of what your motivation is going to be, what your backstory is, how you're going to relate to some of the other characters and sort of random events that come up in the game. Um, just gives you a lot more direction, makes it easier to tell a story as you're going. And so they recommend that you think about ranking your character in terms of the six attributes, uh, which I believe are, if I recall, loyalty, piety, cruelty, um, sanity, passion, and selfishness. And so you just think about those six... Whoa! Good, good morning, Mr. Uh. Right in the head. That's what you get when you mess with Tath. Alright, um, so you think about those six attributes and uh, kind of ranking them in terms of like are they medium, are they low, are they high um, and that helps you kind of think about then why they're you know low, medium, or high you know what happened or what kind of motivation does a character have in their personality um, and so in, in those terms then I'm thinking of Tath in terms of his loyalty he's gonna have kind of a low level of loyalty he's not gonna be overly concerned with being loyal to uh, his friends or to people that have helped him in the past or anything like that. Um, and that's just to kind of reflect as he's he's becoming now, he's under the influence of Mehrin's Dagon. He's kind of a storm god. I'm thinking that he kind of, his personality symbolically, he has some of the capriciousness of weather, right? He can go storm to come. So he's kind of unpredictable in that sense. And so that makes him move. The river. Looks like I can see signs of the town uh, downstream a little bit. I'm gonna have to cross the river to get there. There we go. So, uh, so low loyalty on the piety attribute. I'm gonna say kind of high piety, uh, although I am kind of being mentally dominated by this Daedric prince. Um, that does make me kind of uh, pious. I'm going to do things that I think are that Mayruns wants me to do. I'm going to be psychologically influenced by my um, connection to the Storm God, and uh, I'm going to be pretty, pretty pious. It's kind of a, a 
paladin is partly a, a religious character, so he's going to have some um, some religious behaviors and stuff. We'll see some ritualistic behaviors. Um, and then uh, cruelty, he's going to say I'm going to have medium levels of cruelty, meaning that uh, I am kind of a, an anti-paladin, kind of following a dark god. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm sadistic. It's not that I want to um, hurt people. It's just that I want to kind of uh, storm, you know, random chaos, destruction, uh, wherever I go, and I'm just sort of indifferent to this actual suffering that it causes. I'm just kind of trying to live out the mission without worrying too much about uh, who's getting hurt by it. So, medium levels of cruelty. Uh, with sanity, I'm going to say I have kind of a low level of sanity, as I've been involved in maybe a few incidents with <laughs> electricity, I've been electrocuted a few times, sometimes by magic, Lightning strikes. Maybe I've been struck by lightning a few times. So I'm going to say my brain is a bit addled because of all that. Um, a little bit of a doc, kind of a erratic personality from Back to the Future. Um, you know, a little too much electricity to the noggin. So low sanity. I want to say kind of a low level of passion as another psychological attribute. Um, I don't really care emotionally deeply about a lot of things. I'm just kind of implacably Storm God of Destruction, maybe Stagon, so I just Rengar. kind of autonomously do that. By the divines. Micaias, is that you? Oh, Micaias, that's a guy I was I being saved. held in Brittle Run Cave, but the guard and someone else found me and got me out. Well, by all means, go inside. Have a drink and get some rest. Actually, I think I'd like to stay out here and do some work with you. It'll be <laughs> good for me. Of course. Grab a hammer. It's great to have you back. Uh, that was me who saved him, by the way. You're, you're welcome. Alright, where's the Jarl? Gotta find the Jarl. So I stroll through town. Maybe I'll also get some new equipment here. If there's a blacksmith or something. Yes, that was the blacksmith. Um, I'd rather get some kind of armor than this kind of... So anyways, that's my personality. Uh, oh, one more attribute was the, the selfishness. I want to say I'm sort of medium selfishness. Uh, I, I guess I would enjoy the feeling of power and the Daedric artifact I got, and so I might be on the lookout for other other things that are going to uh, increase my power. Uh, Mehrin Stegon is also known for um, being kind of the Daedric Prince of Ambition, so that's going to kind of be reflected in his followers' personality too. So. I'm looking for cool things for myself. So, all right. Anyway, so we're going to complete our first uh, mission here to help out the friend who saved us. For now, just enjoy being young. Hello. Oh. If you say so. Do not dread, Milhan. Looks like he's you having some kind of heart-to-heart -heart heart talk with his son. I, I don't want to interrupt sure that. But only if I keep practicing. I'll go do that right now. Uh, what's that all about? Uh, hello, my name is Tath. Uh, your your man when sent me to come and give you a message. Like Good you. morning. Good morning. Um, listen, someone called me the Traveler. Your man called me that when he found me in the ruins. What does that mean? A very long time ago, a man claimed to have been spoken to directly by the gods themselves. They foretold a prophecy of sorts. Prophecy, huh? The gods told him that they who arrived through the shimmering wall marked the start of the worst, mm. and that they were deemed the traveler. That's me. This tale spread, and eventually became somewhat of a legend in Falskar. Hello. However, nothing ever happened. And the gate in Muzubdan remained dormant. Mm. Until now. Yes. You have come through from Skyrim. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you the brave soul the man spoke of? If so, what does that mean is about to happen? The land has already been riddled with war and death. <laughs> we can't take much more of it. 
Yes, well, I believe I am the man spoken of in your prophecies. And I come to bring storms and disruptions. In any event, um, we found Micaius, and your man says to tell you that he says that the bandits are working for someone named Ingvar. What? What led him to believe that? Such a statement cannot be taken lightly. Hmm. I guess he overheard them talking and they got orders from Ingvar to capture him. This... This is bad news. It could very well mean the start of another war. Thank you for bringing me this information. Please, accept this token of my appreciation. Hmm. I hate to ask more of you. You have already saved one of my people. But I don't have much choice. Ah. Long ago, when there was war between my family and the Yunvaldirs, there was a group of monks that served as our wise men and court wizards. Okay. They have since retired to a simpler life. But their roots are still there. They may know what Ingvar is up to. Please, hmm. go to Balen Priory, to the southwest, and talk to Brother Thorlo. See if he knows anything. Hmm. Okay, you want me to talk to the monks? Get more information about what the bandits were up to? What can I help you with? Very well. You can't help me with anything. I guess I'm going to play along for now. I'll do as the Jarl asks. Um, find out what's going on. I need to know more about the tensions that might be forming leading to another war. Because um, I think today, again, wars are very warm I'm meant to bring here to Falskar. Um, and so if I learn more about what's going on, maybe I can help to, to catalyze the flames here and get things going, the flames of war. Well, it's been a long day. Um, it's 10 o'clock the next morning. I haven't really slept. I just rested in the ruins outside um, where I was teleported into. So I think maybe um, I won't go out and meet the monks today. Maybe I'll sleep and rest up for the rest of the day. It looks like an inn here, the Amber Meat Inn. Uh, I'm just going to pop in there, maybe get some sustenance and crash out for the rest of the day, and I'll head out in the morning on the Jarl's errand and go talk to the monks uh, in episode two of my Let's Play. Good morning. I know it's early, Whether but can I get a room? Whether you're looking for food and drink, or just a good time, you're in the right place. Hi. Need what a drink? can I do for you? Amber Mead is yes, the best no. in all of Falskar, and it's our own special brew. Just a room, please. Of course. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this Ooh, way. Look, they have an enchanting table and an alchemy station here in the Amber Meat Inn. That might come in handy. All right, take me to my room, Miss. Thank it's you. It's very good, sweetie. One day you'll be just like Clara. You really think so? Thanks, Dad. Keep it up. You you'll be in here. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you, Miss Niola. That will be all. I'm very tired. Going to bed. I still have to uh, suffer through this horrible calming music I turned off to sleep. But tomorrow morning, we will pursue the business of Clarence Dagon in Falskar. So I think I'm just going to crash out for the whole rest of the day, and maybe we'll get up uh, early tomorrow morning and uh, continue on. So thanks for watching. Tune back in again next time for Episode 2 of my Tath Let's Play in Falskar. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.